Hey now, hey now, hey now. So look, y'all have been dying for me to make another cooking video. I see y'all. Y'all get on in here, get on in here, get on in here. Y'all been dying for me to make another cooking video. And today on Juneteenth, in honor of the ancestors... I am doing a pork chop dinner. I went down to Whole Foods and I got me some pork chops. But y'all, they gave me this big old, look at these big thick ass pork chops. And I know that I shouldn't fry them, but I'm a fry them anyway. I'm a fry them slow. So those of y'all wondering what's on these pork chops right now, that's just a little bit of mustard. Cause we gonna mustard fry these bad boys. And uh, what we gonna do with it? We gonna do some yellow rice with it. We gonna do some string beans with it. Get our skillet out. What's wrong? What's wrong? Out that baby Isaac over there boning it. And grunting or whatever. Anywho, I'm in here getting situated. What y'all hoes ate? What y'all broke? What y'all hoes ate? I hope y'all ate good for the Juneteenth. Isaac, I can't understand that. You have to tell me what's wrong. I see this one be liking to watch people kids. What's wrong? What is wrong? I don't understand what you're saying. I'm just getting all my stuff together, y'all. I had went down to Whole Foods, got me some frozen green beans. I'm going to cut me an Isaac of a potato, a potato, and put in that bitch. Let me see if I can uh, peel this potato real quick and we're going to get started. I can't find my cutting board, child, so we're just going to use a damn paper plate and, and cut this potato up real quick. Matter of fact, I could be getting this water going for this yellow rice because I like everything to start and be done at the same time. How many say put one cup in the third? Y'all know black people, we don't manage this shit. Oh, there go my cup of boards. One cup in the third water in this yellow rice out the pack that's probably going to get my ass canceled. That's one cup. Put one and a half, it don't matter. I can always boil the extra water out. So we're gonna get that going. And then uh we're gonna put us turn this on medium low. Put it is back here. Well you know when you don't use your stove, you don't know which eye go to what. This go to this. Okay, I'm good. When you cook these kind of beans, am I supposed to add water? I'm assuming I need to add some type of water. So we're going to put them holes in there. What y'all think I should add? Probably about two cups of water. I can't y'all see that I probably should just cover it add a cup of water not no I think I need to put more than the cup I ain't got no chicken broth girl
I put enough in there to, y'all see that? Just enough for the, the boil a little bit, I imagine. And then, I'm a nigga peel this potato. I just take old basic ass, huh? That's your car? Mm-hmm. I'm trying while I'm nigga peeling this potato. I could be letting my grease get hot. If I even got any damn grease left in this damn house. And they said since it's a... Now, my friend was all oh, hell. I ain't even... Oh, I got some more grease. We're going to have to make it do what it do with these two different oils. Now, my homegirl that cook all the time, she told me because them pork chops are so thick to fry them slow. And she told me don't put no bread in on them. I don't know what fry it slow means. Does that mean I turn the heat down? But my fear is in frying it slow with reduced heat that that the grease is not going to be hot enough for me to fry these pork chops. I'm gonna tell y'all how I'm gonna season them in a second. Let me just finish cutting up this potato. Peeling this potato real quick. Just something real quick. Our poor single mother on welfare, tell me how you did it. There's no way I could pay you back. But my plan is to show you that I understand. Y'all know the rest. You know I appreciate it. See, this is a quick meal. Y'all know I'm all about quick meals. I ain't really the domestic type. But I can be when I have to be. And this a meal you should be able to make for the man. I think I fried pork chops for y'all before. But I ain't never fried them slow. We gonna see if frying them slow oh work. Child, I'm just butchering this damn potato. I like a little potato in my green beans, honey. That, that. Honey, when I cook, they call me Miss Carla, bitch. And when Miss Carla show up to the thing with her green beans, the girls go in. And they let half. Because baby Miss Carla cooks. That's how I get all the men. They love Miss Carla cooking, honey. Just cut up the potatoes. Bam. Throw them potatoes in there like that. Just throw them little potato pieces in there. Y'all see that? How I'm cutting it? Just slice it. Slice it in chunks. Chunks. Just little chunks. Throw it in there. Now I'm going to give y'all the secret to these green beans that y'all ain't know about yet. I'm going to do something real secret with these green beans that's going to fuck y'all up. Let me finish cutting these potatoes. And y'all know from my previous cooking videos what my ingredients is that I cook with. Season the salt, onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper. Got that in there with the top of these beans. Let me see how y'all, y'all see how I just got this in there? I might need to add a little more water. Okay, my water don't came to a boil from the rice. My water don't came to a boil. We just gonna crack her open. We gonna pour this rice in there. I don't know how long this yellow. Ooh, the yellow part. Ooh, that's a good one. How long this yellow child? The yellow part stuck in the damn bag, child. Shit, this. Let me start to get it out of here, Nessa girl. Hold on here. We might not be eating shit. Fuck around with this old ass yellow rice. Oh lord, the paper don't fell in the grease. Uh, I don't know how long this shit done been up here, Nessa girl, but they, they, they say this is a non-perishable item. Shit, hell. Get out my kitchen, dogs. I'm not white, okay? We don't I don't have animals in my kitchen while I'm on live. Anyway, y'all. Right, well, that's all the yellow shit I can get out of there with the lid for this. And once that rice get the boiler, you just turn her down low for her to simmer. Lord, I don't know where the hell the top at. Shit, hell, I might have to put a 
a plate over that bitch. Let me see. Lord, where's the top? Where's the top, Lord? Where's the top? And this eye ain't getting high. The hell going on? Somebody don't came right here. Fuck out the thing! Lord, this don't even go on that damn pot, but it's gonna go today. Let me see, where is the top? Lord, I can't find shit in this damn kitchen. Oh, here you go, it was in the dishwasher. So put that on there like that. Let me turn this light on, let her simmer. Okay. So we got everything going. I said I was gonna show y'all what the secret ingredient was to these green beans. That's the right time. I wonder could y'all guess. You ain't got to guess no more, baby. Secret number one, you get you some vinegar. Get you a little vinegar, baby. I like my vinegar base. Ooh, that smell good. You just put you a little vinegar in there. Put you a little vinegar in that thing. Don't use that douche vinegar now. You know, some of y'all hoes, y'all can't care y'all ass nowhere. Y'all will get crafty. Like that girl used that damn Gorilla Glue when she ran out. Ingredient number two, baby. Hot sauce. In them beans. Don't look at me crazy. Put your little hot sauce in there. Just swerve it around. I'm telling, listen, Miss Carla know what she's talking about. Miss Carla know what she's talking about. I'm washing my hands. I'm not nasty. All right. Then on top of that, Go ahead, get you some black pepper. Put you some black pepper in there. Go ahead and put you a little black pepper in there. And you know what, Nessa? A little seasoning salt ain't never hurt nobody. Put you a little seasoning salt in there. And then, why not for the fuck of it? Go ahead and throw you a little garlic powder in there. And then, we could use onion powder. But, why use onion powder when you got an onion, baby, and not no red one? You got to get you an old badalia, honey. A badalia onion, baby. These the kinds that go in there. Just cut you off a little sliver of that badalia, honey. I just like saying the word badalia. I don't know why. It's just a fun ass word to use. Vinegar, yes, honey, vinegar. Put that vinegar in there. You that vinegar. Listen, don't knock it till you try it. Put that vinegar in that hot sauce in them beans. Let me cut the skin. Miss Vidalia don't want to act right. Shit, shit. I'm just gonna throw it in there and let it boil off. Oh Lord, I don't. Not the salt shake over. And just go ahead and cut up that Miss Onion. Cut her up. Cut up Miss Onion. You don't want to put too much because you don't want it to overpower everything. And just cut it fine. Because people don't, they don't want to confuse the potatoes for the onion. You see? Y'all see how I cut this? Just real fine, like, just, you know, little pieces, like. And just put all that in there. Child, I'm so ghetto. My sister had came up here and cleaned my house. And, you know, people come in your kitchen and rearrange shit. You don't know where stuff at. So that's why I'm using a plate for a cutting board. But I actually did just look in my drawer and find my cutting board. All right, this grease still over here doing what it's doing. So now we can... Oh, turn my air fryer off, but I don't need to be putting these pork chops in these air fryer. So look, I got my pork chops. And a lot of people don't know about when they fry their meats, 
covering it in mustard. You can use an egg wash. Some people use buttermilk. White folks use water. But mustard really helps that seasoning stick. It actually brings out the flavors of the seasonings. And you would think the first time I heard it, believe it or not, it was super scent. And I was like mustard, but believe it or not, you do not taste the mustard on your meat. You don't taste it at all. Um, or not just your meat, you don't taste it on, on anything you're cooking. But it helps your stuff stick, which is good. I'm gonna just taste some of this pot liquor. Oh baby, she giving. She giving. And bitch, don't act like y'all grandma and y'all mamas ain't sip off that spoon and stick that shit back in there, whatever. Some of y'all hoes go to the bathroom and wipe, don't, don't even gonna wipe your ass and come back and finish cooking. I'm cooking for me and Isaac, whatever. I'm not rinsing the shit off every damn time. I got the damn taste. It is my food. Shit. Judge your mammy. So, I got my grease right now on medium, waiting for it to get hot because we want to fry these pork chops slow. That's what they tell me. In the meantime, in between time, we're going to season these pork chops. Season the salt. Mm hmm. Season the salt. Don't be stingy. People like they poke chops when they suck off the bone. They can suck the salt at the bone, bitch. Okay. This right here is the number one ingredient of the seed of the poke chop. Matter of fact, if you ain't had nothing else, baby, you just make sure you got some of this and it could pass. Just sprinkle her. I'm going to use my tongue so I'm going to get my hands dirty with this mustard. Sprinkle her. And see, you see how I say how that mustard had let that seasoning stick? See, you don't want your seasoning all down in the bag, all on the side of the bowl, all in the egg wash. Season her. That's what you want. Season her. Don't be scared. Season her. Season her. Okay? Ooh. Yeah, my beans is boiling too high. I'm cut my rice down low. Turn my rice down low. Light some candle baby. All right. Then we're going to throw our garlic powder. Same situation. Look little garlic powder on there. Now, I'm going to need y'all help with this frying this slow shit because I ain't never fried slow. I always fry on medium high. And I'm hoping, but I guess frying this slow is the same thing when you fry turkeys and shit. And they be frying for two and three hours outside. My homegirl did give me one good idea. She said, don't worry about putting no flour on them. Just season them and fry them as is. Black pepper. Put you some black pepper on them things. And don't be stingy with the pepper either. People like, people like food that hit them on the back of the throat. You know, after you hit it, like you got you got the initial, the initial taste, and then like after you chew it and swallow it, a little extra something hits you on the back of the throat. That's for people who season their food good. When I put it already. Garlic, oh, so now we just need some onion powder. Garlic, 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 garlic. This onion powder look caked up, but we just gonna have to make her do what it do. That's why you shouldn't buy this great value Walmart brand shit. Lord, ain't nothing even barely coming out this motherfucker. I guess I could squeeze some onion juice on it to push come the damn shove. Mm -hmm. The ancestors will be pleased, honey. Because I got good cuts of meat, baby. I ain't eat no chitlins or no intestines. Honey, good meats. I, this is the hope and the dream of the slave, bitch. 
I went to Whole Foods and with pride, I said, give me four of your finest pork chops, Mr. Butcher Man. Four of your finest, uh-huh, them four right there. Another secret I'ma give y'all, a lot of people reserve Old Bay for seafood. You can actually put Old Bay on all your foods. But the kicker is you don't put a lot of the Old Bay. You just put just a little. Remember how I was talking about that extra something that hits you in the bike of the throat? Just a little Old Bay. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Am I the only person that do this? I just be loving the taste of seasonings. Ooh, that's good. That's going to be real good. And so, again, going back to the mustard thing. Y'all see what this pork chop look like? Baby, you can't tell me when this thing cook, it ain't going to be not something nasty. All right, my grease look like it's getting ready to, to uh, do what it need to do. You put your little butter, everybody know, in order to get your pork chops to fry good, you put you some butter in this grease. What you want? Uh, move back, baby, after this grease popping. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Let it use you. Let it use you. Ooh, let it use you. All right. Is this too fast to fry slow? What y'all think? I need it. Here comes the fire alarm, girl. Is this grease too hot to fry slow? I got it on medium, a little before medium on the low side. Or too hot. Turn it down, okay. Let me turn it down some. Y'all didn't know about putting that butter in the grease? Yes, God. Yeah, that oil too hot. She hot. That shit, bitch, I know a lot of things. I don't know everything. We gonna let her? When I tell you I cook the fuck out these beans, Bye bye. Mm. Yes, Lord. That yeah, vinegar. Ooh, child, I'm fucked around and waste water in the oil, Lord. I don't fucked up the thing. water in there on my rice. What y'all think? I should go ahead and put them, start them pork chops. Should I go ahead and put them pork chops in now? What y'all think? That don't sound like frying slow to me. <laughs> I checked on my rice friend. I just put a little more water in her. That's perfect. Okay, they say that's perfect. Let me put another one in. It says this frying slow. We're gonna fry these big ass pork chops. 
Baby, I got these poach chops so motherfucking seasoned. They look like they fried already, bitch. So you know this this finna be good. Let me turn the fan on. No, I didn't use flour because these pork chops was too thick. Uh, oh, girl, no, I ain't put no butter in the rice. Put some butter in the rice, girl. What was I thinking? Put some butter, huh? Butter, huh, boo? And y'all know I don't believe in washing dishes, bitch. I got about 50 pipes of these. I keep them right here under my cabinet. See what this rice giving. Mm -mm. She ain't ready yet. And she need a little more water in her. Now this is my concern, y'all. This not frying too slow. Oh, cover the pork chops. Okay, that's good. That's smart. That was smart. That's too slow. That's what I thought. Can we put this thing back on on medium right here? Good thing it ain't got no flour on it, honey, so we ain't got to worry about it being all soggy. And should I put it on medium? I'm going to let her stay on this side for about one more minute, and I'm going to turn her. Them beans ain't giving yet. Not what they need to give. Y'all laughing at Miss Carla with this vinegar and this hot sauce, baby. I'm telling y'all, that's where it's at. Let me see what this... I don't know. I got a feeling y'all can kiss my ass with this fry slow shit. Um, take the cover off. The first y'all telling me put it on. Now you saying take it off. And then you saying fry it slow. Yes, the rice on low. <laughs> I ain't gonna fuck up my rice, mama. Thick ass pork chops. I didn't even ask this man for these thick ass pork chops. But he knew it was Juneteenth. I guess Harriet Tubman must have told him. 
Give me the peace that she could never have. Them beans starting to give. They just ain't got tender yet. So I got everything going. We, I, we got we got it all going on. The rice cooking. I'm satisfied with the way these poke chops is bubbling now. Would y'all agree? Miss Rice giving what she need to give. Isaac. Cause bitch, I can't take you to the uh, emergency room to my pork chops finish frying, goddammit, as much as I paid for these pork chops. Alright. Yes, I'll be sitting there leaking. My friend Katrina Hughes just texted me and said, clean the dishes while the food cooking. I don't like getting my hands wet. <laughs> I think I have to do that. In the meantime, I pour me some tea. You know, Miss Carla drinks her sweet tea when she cooks. You ain't no real cook. If you ain't drinking, you know sweet tea while you cook because it's hot. mine in the cabinet. Where y'all put y'all's? In the cabinet. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna flip these girls. Flip these girls back over. I'm just curious what they're giving. Oh yeah, she still ain't done yet. She almost done. She about, she medium. Oh Lord, I don't put the plastic fork in the damn grease. I guess crying this slow do work. She not too bad. That's what she giving. Coming on strong, sweet love and in between the sheets. Mmm. Oh, baby. You got me moaning. 
girl, you got me moaning. Mmm. Get, get out of my kitchen. These the best chops I ever know. And tender too. Bitch. This is Juneteenth pork chops. Remember when I tell you. When I tell you I season the dog fuck at these pork chops. Baby. Bitch. I hope I got me a clean slip in there. I'm finna call Otis and tell his ass I wanna go out and go dancing tonight, bitch. Sweet love in between the sheets. Ow. When y'all was growing up, did y'all used to always burn y'all rice at the bottom? I remember it took me years to learn how to cook rice. But Miss Carla got it, baby. Miss Carla figured that thing out. If I could just figure out how to keep a nigga, then we'll really be cooking with grease. This cooking segment was brought to y'all by Milo's Sweet Tea, baby. Milo's Tea is really good. One time for all those that fuck with Milo. It ain't got shit on Publix. But it'll do. We don't went from fried to Cajun. Okay? It's not burnt. It's Cajun. That's why we put the old bay on it. See, I tricked y'all. I, I was making Cajun. That's why I put that, that old bay on it. This is Cajun pork chop. Get my paper towels ready so I could drain these holes. And y'all know me, I don't like washing no dishes, bitch. So I'm gonna use two styrofoam plates. Flipping on this side, the good side. Y'all don't need to see that side. Oh shit! Well, that's how tender this. How tender.
turn that on. I can turn that rice off. How long I been on this thing? Well, I said it was a 20 minute meal for the man, but I guess it was 40. Well, just as long as the sex long lasted and it took you to make the meal, you doing all right. Nessa girl, look at these things. Look at him. You know, am I the only person who like to pick up them little, little, little end crispy pizza? Mmm. That's what I'm saying. When you go. Suck the meat. And all the season come out of your mouth. Mm -hmm. I'm just sucking all the seasoning out. Mmm. Coming on strong. Sweet loving in between the sheets. This was cooking with Miss Carla. Baby. Me and Isaac, we about to eat down, bitch. I wish I had some tater salad. But that's one thing Miss Carla don't know how to make. If y'all got a good tater salad recipe, somebody email it to me. I turned the rice off, sis. Them frozen ass beans still hard and waxy. I just ain't want to tell y'all. So they got to boil for a little longer until they get al dente. But am I the only person too that after you cook, now you're not hungry? Like when I started cooking, I, I wanted a whole plate. Now I'm just hungry enough where I literally could put my food in this cup and just take a couple spoonfuls but here's the good thing about it. When I do get hungry, when I do get hungry, round about midnight, this motherfucker gonna be sitting on this stove waiting on me. That's the true mark of grown women. When you're hungry, you can just go in there and something be ready. It's just always something in there for the man to eat. The man come over and say, baby, I'm hungry. Tony, go in there and look, in that, look at my icebox. There's something in there. Go in there and look on that, on that second shelf. It should be some chicken, some pork chop. Some fish and spaghetti in there, something. You got to always have something. I was earning my man while I was learning my man. Something you young hoes just don't understand. No pain. No pain. What's wrong? Why are you crying? And that's cooking with Miss Carla. Yes, God, honey. For those of y'all who don't know TGIF, we've been picked up for a second day. We're the number one show on Fox Soul. We'll now be coming on Wednesdays and Fridays. And with y'all continued support, we'll probably end up coming on five days a week and being the Wendy Williams of the night. That's what we're going to put into existence, honey. And when that happens, Miss Carla going to cook for all of y'all. Candy yams, macaroni cheese. Oh, y'all don't want to fuck with my macaroni and cheese, baby. It cost me $80 to make a pan of macaroni and cheese, all the motherfucking cheese I put in it, baby. Yes, God, honey. I, I put five cheeses, two pipes each, and three milks. Condensed milk, whole milk, and buttermilk, and egg. Egg does go in macaroni and cheese. What you know about me? What you what you know about me? Okay, y'all ain't ready for that three milk, five cheeses, two pipes each. Macaroni and cheese, I'm telling you, I put a hurting on you. Your husband won't come home. <laughs> Fucking around with Miss Carla, baby. There's something about a bitch that still well slip. I'm telling you. You better watch out for old hoes like us. We know tricks that Red Lobster and McDonald's can't do. I didn't get to where I am being pretty. I was earning my man while I was learning my man. Young hope, might not understand. Cover up Miss Vidalia until next time. Just cover her, put her back in the fridge there. See if these beans.
about two more minutes, they'll be done. But baby, y'all couldn't take. Y'all want to see what them beans looking like? The girl said they want to see what the beans give me. Can y'all see? They down there slow roasting or whatever. I ain't trying to cook like Andrew Caldwell because I'm not trying to look like Andrew Caldwell. I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. I'm delivered, especially from that bullshit you talking. Like, why you talking crazy like that, honey? I'm just going to get off the line. Um. Anyway, y'all, that was Cooking with Miss Carla. Y'all been dying for me to make another cooking video. I hope y'all will amuse. I hope for you young hoes who can't cook, you learn something. I learned something today about slow cooking thick-ass pork chops. Be just my luck. I cut into the middle of them bitches and it be red in the middle. I guess I could do that on the line with y'all. I'm sure y'all would love. Pink well, pink well, bitch. Pink well, I did that. Come here, Isaac. Want to taste a piece? Is it good? Yeah. It's good. It's real good. Mm -hmm. My baby say, it's good, Isaac. <laughs> He's so shy. My baby say, it's real good. Why I'm cooking so late, child? Because it's sad and I ain't got nothing to do, bitch. I ain't going to bed at 4 in the morning. I might put a load of clothes on the box. Mm -hmm. Huh? You want to go home? Your mommy told me to keep you. She told me to keep you until the morning. <laughs> My sister say she ain't used to getting time off. I, I told her he was saying he wanted to go home. I said, I don't mind keeping them. Should I just keep them and make them push through it? She said, yes, please bring him in the morning. And I feel bad because I want him to be comfortable. This is the first time I ever watched him and he's told me he want to go home. But all I could do is just keep giving him cookies to distract his ass. He don't know after we finish eating this meal, his ass finna get a whole adult Benadryl. Don't call defects on me. Judge your mammy. Cause I got a man coming over. No, I'm joking. I ain't like y'all. I don't hoe around with my children's in the house. Okay. I go down to the car and do it. <laughs> y'all be letting men knock on y'all door and come in y'all house while y'all children be there. Letting them hear their voice and stuff in the living room and it ain't their damn daddy. Y'all some whores. Some of y'all sitting up there looking at me now with a man that your child just met. Your whores. Bringing in children. Men's on your children. Your whores. Okay? You're going to end up on the Yamla Van Zandt because you're whores. Stop bringing men in your house around your children. Carry your ass to his house. Or wait till the kids go to sleep and go sit your ass in the car. Or meet his ass up at, at, at the juke joint or wherever you got to meet him. Stop bringing them men in your house. Stop. Matter of fact, stop letting them men call you. But we don't have house phones. So I was going to say stop letting them call your house phones. 
while y'all kids up and answering the phones. I'm like, can I speak to Janet? Tell her Ken, call. No, 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 no. Your child don't need to know who Ken is. Your child don't know who you dating. Your child don't need to know mommy. He don't need to, they don't need to know that. Y'all are some whores. Y'all are whores. Some of y'all don't have five and six boyfriends. And y'all kids know all the time. That, that, that was my mama boyfriend. No, 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 no. Your children should not know your boyfriend. They should only know one or two things. That's my daddy or that's my stepdaddy. Your children should not know your boyfriends. Y'all are whores. You're whores. You're whores. Daddy and stepdaddy, them the only two titles they should be knowing. Not that's my mama boyfriend. I hate when I see looking. That's 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 Robert. That's my and then the kids be calling them by the first name. That's Robert. That's my mama boyfriend. No, your mama's a whore. She's a whore. <laughs> and don't you grow up to be like her. It ain't right. It ain't right. I I, I know it's comedy. But I'm fucking telling y'all right. Stop bringing men's around y'all house and introducing them to y'all children. Who the fuck raised y'all? I found out my mama had two boyfriends after she died. Come to find out the man that was fixing up was her car mechanic was her boyfriend. I found out after she died that they was dating. Be taking the kids up to the man job and shit. Letting them kiss you all in the mouth. Hug on you and give you compliments and pat you on your booty in front of your children. You're some whores. You're whores. 